everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Anna and I bring to you these tanning lotion reviews. Yes, I'm in my car. This is one of the only quiet spots that I really have right now. So here we go. I'm going to basically be doing reviews from least favorite to most favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy. First, my least favorite is... Ed Hardy Coconut Kisses. Now mind you, this isn't a bad lotion. I mean, there's pros and cons to any lotion out there. The pros to this one is it feels really smooth on your skin. It feels really good when you first put it on. And it doesn't smell bad. It has an okay smell. Not the best smell. It smells very vanilla-y. And I was hoping for more of a coconut smell, to be honest, because I love the way that coconut smells. And it kind of kind of reminds me of those Barbies that you that I played with anyways when I was younger. And they kind of had like that sunblocky coconut beachy smell, and I loved those Barbies. So it brings back good old memories. But yeah, I'm needless to say, this one, it gave me good color. Uh, one of the cons and the reason mainly why I don't like it is that... It has like a film. It's hard to kind of explain, but it, it creates a film after you tan and it rubs off. And I hate that in a lotion because just in case I don't get to shower right after I tan and I have to go out somewhere or run some errands, I really don't want to feel sticky and feel gross like I have this second skin peeling off or something. So that was really a turn off for me. If you guys have more questions on any tanning lotions that I do a review on, feel free to comment below or send me a message. So that was my least favorite. Then, let's see, second least favorite. This one is Conceited by Designer Skin. I must say it's a really cute packaging. It smells really fruity and really good. And this, honestly, um, it did get me pretty dark. The dark, um, the tan kind of developed throughout the day. It wasn't very immediate, but I was pretty impressed. And I can see the whole airbrush effect. It really did kind of give my skin that photo finish that I was looking for. But it's not my favorite. I, I don't know exactly why it's not my favorite, to be honest. Um, but... It's just not my favorite. I just felt like I didn't get the results that I get with my favorite tanning lotion, which I'll be doing a review on shortly here. So that was that one. Um, next one is J Wow. It's a Love of My Life bronzer. This one smells really, really good, and this, in terms of moisturization, is the best in my opinion. Um, well, one of the best, I should say, because it's not as nearly as good as my favorite, all-time favorite one, but it is a really good moisturizer, and it smells so good. It, they say it's a Precious Moments fragrance, and it really does kind of remind me of that, like, dreamsicle kind of angel. I used to collect Precious Moments figurines, and it kind of reminds me of a smell, like, very angelic like that. So, I gotta say, I really do like this lotion. Now, in terms of bronzers, it's really white. It's literally a white lotion. It says it has clear bronzers, so I like it because it doesn't streak. But this one would take a while to develop a tan, and I like to develop a tan pretty much from the get-go, just so I don't have to tan nearly as much with this one. I probably could tan the whole week and I wouldn't get that much color payoff compared to some of my other lotions. So that's that one. But again, like this smells so amazing. I would pretty much buy another bottle, um, buy another one of these bottles just based off of the smell to be quite honest. So that's a good lotion. Um, now my absolute all-time favorite trust fund baby by devoted creations now this is the winner right here if there's a lotion that i would say go out and get it right away and try it it would be this one because every single one of my friends that tans and they tried some of my lotion they just got hooked it has shimmer in it it says it's champagne infused ultimate silicone bronzer and it has an infusion of crushed gems you can actually see the shimmer and the light after you tan and let me tell you 
This stuff smells so freaking good. Like honestly, it smells like an expensive perfume. So pretty much if you want to go to the strip club or you want to go to the bar or whatever, just go for a girl's night out. This stuff has you all set. You almost don't even need to wear perfume to be honest because this acts like a perfume and it smells so good. Like I, I worked out one time after using this product and I had some people ask me what perfume I was wearing because they said it smelled so good. So really, really good lotion. It moisturizes really, really good and the color payoff is really good as well. It gets you dark instantly and then it also gets you dark throughout the day. So I mean this gets you ready for that night out and it has absolutely no after tan odor at all. It smells the same putting it on as um, it smells the same after you tan as when you first put it on. So that's one thing that I absolutely love about this lotion. So I would definitely say if you have not tried this lotion and if you're going to try any Devoted Creations lotion um, and you're not too sure of the brand yet, then I would definitely all the way recommend Trust Fun Baby. And I've actually recommended it to um, my friend and I mean she bought it instantly. She tried it, she tried, um, I actually lent her my bottle and she tried it once and instantly she was hooked and she made me order some for her. Um, this, I only paid about $27 or so on Amazon. I get it from a trusted seller, so if y'all want that information, then I can go ahead and uh, put down the link below. I believe that it's called All American Tanning, and I like it because their stuff it comes completely sealed. And I know what the original lotion looks and smells like and how it behaves, and this is it. This is legitly the original lotion. So... Very, very happy with this, guys, and thank you so much for watching my reviews and for supporting me, and you guys have a great night.